One of the reasons I'm so passionate about finances is money is really a game. And once you learn how to play the game, it becomes a lot more fun. Welcome to Money Talks. So today we're gonna demystify what tax credits and tax deductions are and how to maximize them in your own financial life. A deduction is something that is going to lower your tax liability at year end. If you make $100,000 and you have $20,000 in tax write-offs or deductions, now your taxable income is $80,000. Versus a credit, which is a dollar for dollar reduction of the amount that you owe at the end of the year. So if you have a $2,000 credit, instead of owing $10,000 in taxes, now you only owe eight. You always wanna take care of your deductions first when calculating your tax liability. Once you have applied all of those deductions, you can then search for any tax credits that are applicable to you to make that liability and the amount that you owe at the end of the year even lower. About seven years ago when I started my business, I was in my CPA's office and I felt so terrified to be honest. So if you've ever felt the same way I felt back then with tax credits and tax deductions, we're here to help you. All right, so we have more questions. You ready? Absolutely. Wonderful. Our first one is from Vivian. My name is Vivian. I'm 26 years old. I would say that I am so adamant when it comes to contributing to my 401k, which I know is pre-tax dollars. But how does that impact the taxes I still owe? Ladies, let's clarify this question because I know a lot of people can relate to it. Yeah, so as you mentioned, these are, you know, already know that these are pre-tax dollars. So with every amount that you contribute to your 401k up to a limit of 19,500 for the year is deducted from your paycheck, each paycheck that you receive, and it lowers your taxable income. Some of the most common deductions will be for student loan interest, your mortgage interest, any children that you have throughout the year can also be claimed as deductions. When you have your own home-based business, there are many deductions like communication expenses, cell phone expenses, car and mileage expenses, travel expenses, business meal expenses, wages and employee expenses. All of those things are deductions and or write-offs on your tax return. The standard deduction is going to be a reduction to your taxable income that should in turn decrease the amount of taxes that you owe. Itemized deductions, however, are items that you list individually. So let's just say, for example, your interest deduction, your real estate tax deduction, your donations to charity, Anytime you donate clothing to a clothing drive, that counts as a charitable donation as well. You add all of those things up. If that number is higher than your standard deduction, then you're gonna take the itemized deductions. We have another question from Mariah. Let's hear what she says. My name is Mariah Boo. I paid off $18,000 in student loans last year. How do I write off that $18,000? Do I include it as part of my income? Do I write it off as a deduction? Do I write off the interest on the student loan that I paid off? Mariah, great question. And I know you're not alone because a lot of people have student loan debt and I'm sure trying to figure out how to maximize that when it comes to your taxes is some information we could all use. So experts, what do we have for her? So the way the tax code is written right now, you cannot deduct your student loan payments you are able to write off up to $2,500 of interest related to those student loans. So definitely use that to your advantage and congratulations on paying off that uh, student debt. The best investment is always yourself. I remember my first year in business, I thought I could write off the clothes that I was buying because I was buying them to wear them for my business. And my they were like, no, you can't write off the clothes that you bought. You can't write off your hairstyling and the, and the makeup that you purchase, even though you use it when you record videos. So you do want to be very clear and everything is not a business expense that you can write off. You want to make sure that you're clear and have an understanding of, based on your type of business, what the write-offs are. You know, education, uh, marketing, uh, transportation or anything of that nature, um, different things you're using to grow your business, those can be used as business expenses or write-offs. The IRS has given over 70,000 pages of rules. Find out which of those rules apply to your life. If you have children, find out where it works to work within the rules for having children. If you have a business, find out where those rules are. 
if you are single with no children, find out what the other deductions are. Find the rules, learn them, and then play the game by the rules so that you can get as much of your hard-earned money in your pocket as possible. Wonderful explanations about credits and deductions. This is where you can really strategize with your money. Now, stay tuned and learn how to choose a tax preparer.